Hey, I'm James, and I'm gonna show you how to 10X your digital agency. This is part one, and we're gonna talk about efficiency specifically. At any given time, your agency might have a ton of different stuff being built, e-commerce, native app, big enterprise website, SaaS product, whatever else. Your dev team might need to juggle 10 plus different tools all at once. Next.js, Flutter, Contentful, Shopify, Stripe, React Native, Sanity, Webflow, WordPress, Firebase, Auth0, the list goes on. Actually, the devs at your agency might also go on. Agencies are lucky to keep good developers for two years if they can. To make things harder, tech itself moves so fast that you always need to struggle to keep up. If you're gonna run a successful digital agency, you need to do a lot of things very well. I come from an agency world and that's actually why Payload exists. It let us build almost every different client project on the exact same stack. And we blew our clients away regularly, quickly and under budget. And it let us be very profitable because we got to keep the rest of those budgets. No other agency could keep up with us. And the first thing you need to do is to simplify your stack. Get fast at one set of technologies that can power lots of different types of projects like Payload. Get super good at it and get every dev on your team to learn it deeply. Don't spread them out over 10 different stacks and don't rely on one 10 xer that has way too much work on their plate and gets burned out and is probably gonna leave in a year anyways and then you're screwed. The next thing to do is to reuse everything that you write. If you build a Stripe integration for a client, boom. Now you should have that code. Next time a client asks, charge them the same thing. But guess what? It's already 90% done. You get to keep that budget and the client is still super happy and you probably did it on time as well. Another example would be authentication. Figure out an auth pattern that your team knows one time. Reuse it later. If you do this well, you can sell big projects but already have most of the stuff that you need. That's where you make money. Honestly, you could get to a spot where design is more time consuming than the dev. And that is the dream. The third thing is to avoid SaaS hell. Don't make your devs deploy 25 different things for each client site. Keep it simple. Build the important pieces right and then worry about scaling later. The only thing to really worry about for client projects is to make sure that your client owns their data, that it's not locked into a SaaS vendor, that it's clean, and then it's portable. If you get these things right, you can scale down the line and save upfront. Don't worry about too crazy architecture at first. No microservices, just, I think a good example of SaaS hell is if you ever tried to combine a headless CMS and then headless e-commerce, good luck. Is this ever really gonna be a good idea? Let's think about this. Sanity and Shopify. Let's say a product manager logs in to update some details about a product. Okay, the price and the thumbnail image are in Shopify, but okay, the rest of it's in Sanity. So let me just log into Shopify and update these things and bounce over to Sanity and update the rest. Hopefully I got all this right. Um, Payload's got an e-commerce boilerplate that totally solves this just completely. You just do it all in one place. And as an agency, that makes you move much quicker. And then the client is gonna be happier because they have tools that they actually know how to use properly. SaaS hell is a real thing, not only for engineers, but also for the people that actually have to use the product. It slows down your team and it complexifies the workload of the end user. Okay, so this was part one about how to 10X your agency. I'm just gonna do a little recap real quick. We talked about efficiency. We talked about simplifying your stack, reusing the code that you write, and avoiding SaaS hell. We're gonna do a couple more of these, so keep an eye out and I hope you liked what you heard.